All right, guys, this is an update on the Banggood transistor tester that I thought was a fail. It turns out that the power supply I was using was not putting out enough voltage. So with a 9-volt battery on here, this thing seems to be working just fine. So we'll put a transistor on here. Check it out. There you have it. PNP, pins one, two, three, collector, base, emitter. Here's another one, I believe this is an NPN. Yep. Here is a Four hundred and seventy microfarad, hundred five degree electrolytic capacitor. Shows up as 493. That's a little bit off. How about an LED? And you see, I'm going to put it across pins one and two. Very good. And I'll do it across pins two and three. So it doesn't really matter, the uh, the AT Mega processor in there is smart enough to work out which pins you're plugged into, so you're pretty good. Here's a resistor, I think this is 5K. No, it's a 1 Meg. Here's a uh, nice little rectification diode well, it's working out pretty well it's a little this is like one microfarad cap oh, 50 nanofarad Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, it's got some other features here. If you hold the button down when you turn it on, it'll go into this menu mode. You see it says transistor, frequency, function generator, 10-bit pulse width modulation, ESR, rotary encoder, self-test, show data, switch off. So you know what? This thing is pretty great. I think I paid around $7 for it. My mistake on thinking that a uh, 5.2 volt uh, power supply was enough to power that. And if you can see there, it does have the uh, pads for SMD testing. So uh, all in all, man, I'm going to give this thing a thumbs up. Nice little handy piece of equipment to have.